Hey guys, Patrick R. So we're going to take a look at the Canik or Yannick TP9 SFX. Now this particular gun, I've got a Vortex Venom 3 MOA red dot mounted on top because I had it in the safe and I didn't see any reason to use iron sights if I didn't have to. So it's got a 5 inch barrel, roughly the same size as a Glock 34, and it comes with two 20 round magazines. So they look like they're Metgar mags with Metgar extensions. As a matter of fact, they say Metgar on them. Um, you can get a couple of other things inside the box. So it comes from the factory with a rear sight on a plate. Uh, it's kind of like a cover plate. And once you take that off, you get the ability to use one of four adapter plates to mount whatever red dot you like. Um, I mounted my uh, Vortex Venom on here because my RMR is currently out at the machine shop getting fitted to a slide. But uh, so far, I've been really happy with it. Um, this is the second gun that I've got from Sentry, full disclosure. The first one I was having some erratic issues with, and we couldn't figure out whether it was the ammo or the gun. So they just played it safe, sent us a new gun uh, to take out here to the range and run through some drills, and I got a new lot of ammo. So we're going to give it a shot and see how it goes. Uh, but this thing, as I said, ships with a worn Warren Tactical rear sight on a cover plate. You get a fiber optic Warren Tactical front sight, five inch barrel, this lightened slide, um, and it's got a pretty nice color to it. You've got kind of a gray back strap, a uh, black frame, and a gray slide. Um, I have to say that the trigger on it is pretty spectacular. Um, it's reminiscent of like a PPQ M5 or whatever their match variant is. I can't recall offhand. Um, and in fact, the gun looks a whole lot like the PPQ or P99 series. And I believe that it was kind of, uh, it drew some inspiration from that. So let's load some mags up and get after it. <laughs> That's awesome. Golly. God, that thing's fast. Wow. Now that we've shot the TP9 SFX a little bit, let's take a closer look at it and see what makes it really stand out from the crowd. Starting off, it's got an extended magazine release as well as an extended slide release and a trigger that's just to die for. It breaks at about three and a half to four pounds and it's very, very clean. It's reminiscent of the Walther match gun that people regard as the nicest striker fire trigger on the market. Now you'll notice that it's got some lightning cuts in the slide and that's to help operate the slide when you have a red dot mounted. I think that if you had a heavier red dot on here, it might choke the gun just a little bit. Now, I really do like the forward slide serrations as well as that extended magazine release and the extended slide release. It makes it working the gun very easy and it, it all comes second nature. Now I mentioned that MOS style mounting base on the rear of the gun for the red dot. And when you take the factory dovetailed cover plate off you get this. And you've got some mounting plates there depending on what, you, uh, what optic you're using. Now, the manual states that each one of these goes to different types of optics, and you just got to find out whichever one fits yours. Uh, in my case, with the Vortex Venom, it is the number one plate. So whenever we put the number one plate onto the gun, you put two screws in to those dark black holes, place the optic on top, screw that down to the mounting plate, and you're good to go. Now, if you opt to stick with iron sights, you get a fiber optic front and a worn tactical rear. And, uh, like I said, the trigger is outstanding. Three and a half to four pounds with an outstandingly short reset. Now, takedown of the gun is just like a Glock. Drop the striker, pull the uh, takedown bar down, and uh, the slide comes right off. Everything else is about the same. 
inside the box you get a holster with a paddle attachment uh, it's got a retention strap on it as well and then you get your four mounting plates a gun lock a little tool kit a spare back strap and a second mag It's just too good, man. All right, so that brings us to the end of our range day with the Canic, or Yannick TP9 SFX. And I have to say the Vortex Venom 3MOA Red Dot made into this uh, Yannick is a pretty awesome combo. I found it to be very, very fast, very shootable, very, very accurate. And I was getting about two and a half, three inch groups at 25 yards. And that's pretty respectable for something in this price range, given that it is sub $500 street price. Um, I have to say, if I didn't have a whole bunch of optics guns and uh, this actually didn't come off of a 22 of mine, I probably would be keeping this. Uh, but since I've got a bunch of other ones, I probably I'm going to send it back to uh, Sentry. Now, if you're looking for your own Canic TP9 SFX, check out ProxyBid. You might find one there for a good price. Anyhow, we'll see you guys later. Bye.